can't have them running their mouths about any of this. I'm gonna make sure there's no stragglers around outside. Okay. And now we get our first gun, and I get to show you how garbage I am when it comes to shooting things. I've always wanted to shoot something, but you know, with my garbage skill, it's gonna be kinda pointless. And I realized they actually put an invisible wall here until I shoot something, so it's like, okay, whatever. Pull out a gun, and watch this. Oh, I completely missed the bottle from hitting a crate. That's, that's garbage. Like, seriously. So yeah, I'm gonna grab some of these rats just to drain their blood a bit. Just so I can, you know, continue filling up my bar. I ain't got a really good reason other than that. So now that the blood bar is almost filled, we're gonna go up to the second floor. You know, doing our thing. I don't round this corner is a gangbanger. He goes down with one bullet. This guy, I wanted to kill him, but at the same time I just decided to feed on him. To drain the rest of his blood, make my life a hell of a lot easier. Now that he's dead, you know, everything goes good for me. Basically this shows the, you know, dialogue, serpentis, persuasion, seduction, and intimidation. And here comes Jack. Let's talk to him. Just like that, and it's all over. Everyone slinks back to their corners of the city for the night. That's it. It's all over. Until the next night, when the Camarilla finds some way to strike back, Barry Dodge spinning all that, and so on, and so on, and so on. So this is normal. Well, to be honest, you came at a well, an interesting time. Let's say the Camarilla, the Sabat. Well, in L.A., these are the new kids on the block. There's already plenty of kindred had stakes down in California long before them. Now, we got every ancient kindred rivalry playing out all over the city. A lot of tension out there. A lot of fear. A lot of jittery, high-strung predators clinging to their little pieces of eternity. Hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, I think they're looking for you outside. I guess you got a cab to catch. I was hoping to fill you in on a little bit more, but nah, hell, you'll figure it all out. Again, thanks for the gun. If you make it back, stop in at the last round. It's just bar downtown here. I'll fill you in on the politics. <laughs> now that's the stuff that'll kill you. <laughs> Good luck. I got myself a gun. You know what that means, guys. We're gonna have to go shoot some people. Oh, you gotta love shooting people. Let's also turn on the TV. Nothing really seems strange there. Huh. Where'd that ring go? Oh yeah, they changed up the inspection system, by the way. Now instead of just removing the, you know, sparklies that tell you an item's there, it actually removes the item. So until you get a high enough inspection, you won't be able to see the item or pick it up. Some form of giant octopus. So let's, you know, take the money, read the note, the do whatever, and let's get on our computer like it, just to say we have family before. They sunrise is the password. Family of sea creatures. Uh, our top story tonight, yeah, a bunch of stuff. You guys can pause and read them. Nothing real special. Was towed into the port of Los That's just Angeles stupid. A few hours ago. The ship was spotted around midnight by yeah. fishermen who contacted the coast guard bond. after their attempts to hail the ship. Yeah, I love Bail Bond. It's always fun to mess around with. This is Elizabeth Mercurio. No word as of yet as to the whereabouts of the Telling crew. me to come the right over. Asking any ships that Do whatever, you know, yada yada yada. To them in their search. He's a we'll ghoul. The story Just in case you guys in didn't know. News, but I'm sure you all know if you're watching this. Has prompted the closing of the Santa Monica Pier, where the oh, you gotta love murder. Yeah, but I'm sick of that. Hello, LA. The radios. Ah, oh, come on. So yeah, let's uh read this little paper here. Get the quest. Check the mail for some reason. Uh, exit. Do 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 do. Yeah, thanks, Prince Lacroix, for giving me a haven. Blah blah blah. You get the idea. Nobody cares.
And it's kind of going crazy, cause you know. You got, you got some change, Mister. You hungry? I am too. Hmm. We seem to be alone in this alley. I'm not really gonna feed on him. I just picked that option so I wouldn't have to give him money, nor would I lose humanity. Yeah. So let's walk down this alley and. Oh, look at that. Someone's bleeding. That's perfectly normal. I mean, you know, nobody just saw that guy drag himself uh, into his house. Yes, is there something I can um, help you with? What are you doing? Waiting for that blasted tow truck I called an hour ago. I'd rather not wait another second in this part of town this time of night. A dreadful place, don't you think? You should listen to my mechanic. By German, he said. Terribly sorry to trouble you. My wallet's been oh, stolen. I, I need to take understand. a cab. Here, uh, take a few bucks. Think nothing of it. I wouldn't be surprised if in this neighborhood you were pickpocketed. Anyhow, good evening, and uh, do be careful. Thanks, you rich asshole. Okay, but he has a point, you know, vampires and whatnot, but he doesn't know vampires exist, so who cares? Need something, pal? I'm looking for someone. Oh, man, wait! Say that again! Okay, I'm looking for someone. Oh, man, you! You're a vampire, aren't you? What? Vampire? What the hell are you smoking? Oh, come on! Oh man, you are too! Don't bullshit me, man! <laughs> Just come clean, you know? I mean, oh man! I ain't gonna tell no one. It's okay, man. I just wanna talk. Alright then, let's talk. Hell yeah! Oh man! I knew it! I just... Oh jeez, I knew you were... I just could tell I... Oh man, this is great! And I saw your teeth and, and I was like, damn, it was like I could just sense you. The name's Knox Harrington. Pleasure to meet you. Oh man! Are you a vampire? How do you know all of this? I'm a ghoul! I didn't know about any of this stuff until a couple of months ago. When this guy just appeared and... Well, all of a sudden, BAM! Whoa, man! Vampires are real and right there in front of my eyes! Blew my goddamn mind! You said you're a ghoul. What is that? Well, the way it was explained to me, whenever a vampire lets a human drink some of their vampire blood, the human gains a little vampire power! Can heal up quick and that kind of stuff! Jeez, oh man! And they're a ghoul and ooh, watch out! You seem to enjoy it. It's awesome! Man, after that first date of vampire blood, it's like the best drug. Oh man, I'm telling you, it's like... Well, it didn't mess me up. It just made me feel like I was better at everything. I felt like a god just sucking on that nasty dude's wrist. I'm out of here. Later. So as you can obviously tell, Nox is a Nosferatu's ghoul, and a ghoul is basically a human who drinks vampire blood and they gain a little bit of, you know, vampire abilities and crap. Pretty cool. So let's follow the trail of blood, which obviously ain't brothers. suspicious, and talk to Mercurio. I'm dying here. Oh. Are you Mercurio? Uh, yeah. You looking for the astrolite? I'm... Oh, I can feel a draft on my fucking insides. They shank me, the bastards. The blood ain't working no more. My head, it feels cracked. Oh, I think my eyes popped. Stay with me, what happened? I got... I went... Uh, what is this lump? Is this my rib? Oh, holy shit, my rib is poking through my side? Oh, I'm all numb. You gotta look and tell me. It's a broken bottle. Now, tell me what happened to you. Goddamn chemist. Can't trust any operators in LA. I verified him. Organization seem reliable. Guy mixes up speed. His crew sells it. Occasionally does explosives. I set up a drop. I show up at the beach with the money, right? Four of his guys, they come out of nowhere. Junkie pricks. Hit me with a bat. <coughs> it feels like I got a friggin' horse kick in it. I never should have gone alone. Amateur move. I should have handled those pricks. Goddamn dirty Cali rat bastards. And those cocksuckers beat me rotten, left me for a stiff. I had to crawl to my car, crawl my ass up here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. But shit, they got the money, they got the astrolite. Where are these bastards? Those small time sons of bitches live out in a dump on the beach. Four or five of them. 
and one's got the explosives.